In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can customize your channel branding and your channel layout with the new update on YouTube. Hi there, David Walsh here, helping you grow your YouTube channel. If you're new here, we upload videos every single Tuesday and go live Saturdays to answer your questions to get more growth on YouTube. So YouTube have updated their platform on how to customize the front of your YouTube channel. So we're gonna dive in so you can change your branding, you can change your layouts, you can add videos, and I'm gonna give you some top tips on how to set things up to get even more views on your YouTube videos. Okay, so here I am on one of my YouTube channels. This is Taekwondo X, which is a Taekwondo martial arts competition channel that I've set up using footage that I have from a previous company that I've got. If you like martial arts and if you like Taekwondo in particular, make sure to check it out, youtube.com forward slash Taekwondo X. So to customize your channel, click on the customize channel right here. So this will open up a new tab. So you see we have a number of different sections on here. Across the top, we have layout, branding, and basic info. So the layout covers your layout of the front of your channel. Your branding will cover the imagery and the branding of your channel, and the basic info is the text that's on there. And we'll come to those sections in a second. So you can change the videos that are shown to people based on if they are a subscriber or not. So you can have a channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed, and then you can also have a featured video for returning subscribers. So if you don't have a channel trailer, do not worry about this. What we typically will do is we will put the latest video on both sections, as you can see here. So we have a video from the World Taekwondo Championships in 2005. So we've put that same video on here as both our channel trailer and as our featured video. So when we tell people to go to our YouTube channel, they're going to see the latest video and then they're going to watch the other videos from this because we have set it up in a specific way. So to customize this, click on the three dots right here. Then you can change video and this allows you to select any video that you want. So if I wanted to select the final from that particular year, I can select the final there, pop that in, and then I've changed that there. And if I also wanted to change that for my returning subscribers, I can do that also. Click on change video and then click on the mail final there. Coming down to my sections, you can have up to 10 sections on here. So we currently have six on here right now, so I can add more. So to do so, click on add section. So you can have uploads, you can have popular uploads, you can have shorts, which are your TikTok style videos. You can have live now. You can also put in past live streams as well as upcoming live streams as well. So if you're streaming on a regular basis, definitely put one of those sections in there or maybe two so that you can show your videos on there. Another trick as well with your live videos, if you have your live video scheduled, you can pop that video in here so you can pop in your URL and it will pull in that video and pop that in at the very top of your channel, especially for your featured video for returning subscribers. That's always good to have that on there. So you, we can also add playlists. So we've got a single playlist, which is what these are here. We can have creative playlists. We can have multiple playlists as well. So we can add a number of playlists in a row on our front of our channel. We could also put in the channels that we're subscribed to and also featured channels. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to add a single playlist. So I'm gonna select the latest video. I was gonna pop that there and we will see that at the very bottom. Now we can move these around just by simply dragging and dropping in place like that. Very easy to do. So we can move these around as much as you want. And when you're done there, all you have to do is click on the publish button to make that live on your channel. Now, if you want to update your branding, click on the branding tab at the top. So this is where we can change our profile picture, which is our icon. We can also change our banner image or channel art on the top. And we can also have a watermark on all of our videos. So to add a profile picture, if you haven't got one there already, click on the upload link there. Now you need to make sure that your image is at least 98 by 98 pixels wide and also four megs or less is a PNG or GIF file, not an animated GIF. 
So to add your image, click on upload and then select your image. So I'm gonna pop in my uh, profile image again. You can resize this. So if it's an image of you, you can resize it and stuff like that. So make sure that your image is good enough for uh, circular images so that you don't have text here either way around that gets cut off when you upload the image. We see this on a number of channels where heads are cut off or text is cut off or logos are cut off uh, because this is a circular image and not a square image. So make sure that the image you use is good enough so that whatever is in there is clearly visible inside this circle. When you've got that done, click on done. To add a banner image, if you haven't got one there already, you'll have an upload image. If you do have one, click on change and then you can upload a new image on there and resize it to however you need. With your banner image, make sure it's 2048 pixels wide by 1152 high. And again, is no more than six megs in file size. To add a video watermark, again, click on upload. The sizing here is that it's a minimum of 150 pixels square. Again, it's a PNG file or GIF, but not an animated GIF. You can also use a bitmap or a JPEG file and is less than a one meg in file size. To upload this, click on upload. Now I'm going to use the same image that I used for my profile image, and then I'm gonna add there. Now I can resize this. to my liking, so that looks a bit better. So I wanna have the TKD X look that bit bigger on there and not have as much white on it. So click on done. And now we can see our little icon is on there as our watermark. Now you can customize when this is shown. So you can have a pop-up at the end of the video, uh, custom start time or entire video. So let's select entire video. Under my basic info tab, this is my about area. So you wanna make sure that you've got plenty of keywords in here. So our main keyword is Taekwondo, Taekwondo competition, Taekwondo championships, European Taekwondo championships, World Taekwondo championships, uh, competitions, team names, Korea, China, Taipei, Turkey, Spain, etc. So we have added all of them in there so that YouTube knows where to send people when they're looking for Taekwondo competition using any of the keywords that are in here. Now, if you have other social platforms, you can add them on here using add link. So if I have Facebook, and I can have as many of these as I want, but I can have up to five showing on my channel banner. As you can see here, I can have up to five, so I can show my first link, and the first link will show the text, whereas the rest will just have icons. So if I have Instagram, and when I publish this, these will show up on my, on my banner. I'll show them in a sec. And then also pop in your email address in there too, so that people can contact you if you want that to happen. So as I said, once you're done, click on publish. Once that has published, go back to your YouTube channel, click on refresh. And you'll see here, as I said, so here's my icon for Facebook and it shows the Facebook text because that's what I wrote on here. So if I popped in Facebook page, went back, clicked on refresh, it will show that text there. So if you want to pop in your company page or stuff like that, don't just put website or something like that. Have a call to action on there, give them an incentive as to why they should visit your website or your Facebook page or Instagram account or anything like that. Time and time again, we will see people just put the word blog, website, stuff like that on there and there's no incentive for people to click on there and go over to the, their platforms. So I could put in 101 knockouts here, click on publish, and then I could have them go over to my website Click and refresh here. And so I would have 101 knockouts here or click here to view 101 knockouts, something like that on there. So there's an incentive for people to click on that. Obviously, if they're watching martial arts stuff, they like to watch my knockouts. And so that would be of interest to them. 
Now, one way to get people to watch more of your content is to have more of your popular content at the top. So if you're doing a video series, which we are doing with this particular playlist here, we're doing a video series. So we will put the video series towards the top, if not at the top of our channel. So we go back here into our layout. So we'll put this video series right at the top so that we can get more views on there. We can just swap it over that way. So we will have, uh, this is our video series. So if you have a video series or very popular videos, you can put those in a playlist and pop those at the top of your YouTube channel, especially videos that you found from your analytics that converts viewers into subscribers very well. Put those at the top of your videos. And if you have one that does a really good job, you could always put that there as your channel trailer or your featured video as well. But if you want to have your latest video, that's good. And then just put those popular videos that turn people into subscribers right at the very top so that you can increase not only the views, but also your subscribers as well. So how are you gonna customize your YouTube channel? So you're gonna change your featured videos at the top for subscribers and non-subscribers. How are you gonna lay out your YouTube channel with those playlists to get more views? Are you gonna use your popular videos? Are you gonna get the ones that make more subscribers or all of the above? Let me know in the comments area below. I'd love to know how you're going to use these tips. And if this is your first time here, well, welcome. It's great to have you along. And if you're a returning subscriber, great to see you here again. Hope you're doing well. And if you are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell. We upload videos every single week to help you grow your YouTube channel. And we go live every single Saturday to answer your questions to get even more growth on your YouTube channel. And if you want even more views on your YouTube videos, make sure to click that link right there.